table around this. I'm going to just put a table around it by going to the insert tab, tables, and then we'll just add a table around it and say, uh, okay. So then I'm going to, I'm going to make these two cells skinnier again. I didn't mean to widen the cells out like that with the table. All right. So now, we, so to simulate a draw of a card, if it was an even deck that has all 52 cards in it, you, you don't have the, the card shark with an ace up their sleeve that they snuck in to the deck, then you would expect uh, that we could, we could just do a random draw between 1 and 52 to simulate a random draw of the card. So I can then, let's make a skinny zero here, a skinny zero column. And then I'm just going to say this is a random draw of a of a fair deck that we're trying to simulate so i'm going to go then to the home tab uh font group make this black white alignment group wrapping it and then alignment group centering it so i'm going to use my random number generator again i'm going to say rand between and i want to take it between 1 comma 52. so we're just going to get a random number between 1 and 52 enter there we have it now the question is well how far down do we want to go now we have we're in excel here so we can do this for quite some time so let's let's imagine that we did this a whole lot of times so let's take it down to like thousands of of draws just for the fun of it so we're going to go into like i'm going to drag it down to let's say like three thousand i'm sorry let's, let's say let's keep it down here oh, i went to five 5,000? That seems a little much. Let's just, we'll, we'll keep it at 5,000 instead of 5,002. I'll see if I can go up to just 5,000, 5,001, because I think we started on cell number two. So a whole lot of random drawing happening here. So I'm going to go back up. And so that would obviously take a lot of time in real life, but our, our generator can do that. And so then I can go into the insert tab and let's put just a table around it and it'll grab the whole table all the way down to cell 5001 and then okay. So now we've got a random generator. So we've got a random generator and if I double click on it, it should reshuffle or I can like resort it and it'll reshuffle as I uh, resort it. So now let's just mimic one one of those random samples of you know the 5,000 draws that we, t we drew one card at a time. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. I'm going to right click and copy. And I'm going to put it in column R but paste it just one, two, three. So it just grabs those numbers and solidifies them to just one number. Let's go ahead and uh, put a table around this one. Insert and then uh, tables and insert a table. So here's our result of the first random draw. And I'm gonna make this home tab alignment wrap center. And there we there we go. So now we could sort that. Uh, we could sort this, you know, A to Z or Z to A if we so choose. And we can see all the ones, all the twos and whatnot. But there's a lot of draws there so we could then uh, we could then try to come up with a a table showing how many times each of those cards were drawn and see if that kind of lines up to what we would expect and how far off we are and so on. Let's make a skinny Q column. To do that, I'm going to make a skinny S column. And so let's say that we have our, our table again with our assigned number. Let, let's start off by just copying the table we did over here, right? Let's copy the table we did over here where we had th these three, our assigned number. Let's copy this stuff from L to N. I'm just going to copy the whole column and we'll bring that on over here and I'll paste it in column T, pasting it. The suits got messed up because I used a formula to get the suits. So let's just say the suits... Let's just type it in here. This is going to be spades. Uh, well, let, let's do this. Let's hard code the suits. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to copy this whole thing. And instead of pasting a formula, I'm going to right click and paste it one, two, three. So now the suits are hard coded and there's no formula in there. 
Okay, so there we have that. And then I'm going to say, the, so these are our, our results, results from the 5,001 or 5,000 draws that we had. So let's do a count of the results. So now I'd like to do a count uh, function. And I'd like to say, I want you to count it if it's a number one. So however many times the number one shows up here, that's what I want the result to be, the number one standing for the ace of spades. So I'm gonna use our trusty count formula, count if brackets, and then I'm gonna say the range is the first criteria, selecting the entire range, so that should pick up the entire range of the table, comma, and then the criteria is this number one, not the card number, because that repeats. I want the number that we assigned that has an individual a number per card. So it picked up and notice it copied the reference all the way down for us because we're in a table. So that's great. That's what we want it to do. And so there, there's our results. So we've got, it has 79 ones, 100 uh, of, of, of the twos, uh, of spade, spades, right? And then the count of 28, which represents a two of diamonds. 90 of those and so on so if i then i can add to the bottom of the table a total right we'd like to have a total down here so let's go up top and, and to do that with a table i can go to the table design i can go to the table style options and let's add a total column so there's our total and then when it counts this up it comes out to 5000 and that's correct because that's how many times that's how many how many uh of these we we did how many times we drew one particular card out of the deck of 52 5000 times all right so now we can get a percent a percent of total so so how often is that from a percentage basis common calculation when we're doing our statistics it's going to be equal to 79 divided by the total which is 5000 enter it copies it down i can't see anything because the cells are not in the format of a percent so i'll select the whole thing uh home tab numbers percentifying it i can add a couple decimals to it and then if i scroll down we can see that uh, it should sum up i'll choose my table options to sum it it should come out to you know 100 percent number 